a brand new skewed and reviewed video log. As you may or may not know, the site is currently undergoing a series of changes and a move to a new server. We had some instability with some of the other hosting servers, so we figured why not let's get it to a couple of new stable servers as well as implement the brand new software changes and new content modules. But, seeing as there's a ton of news, ton of new DVD and game news, did not want to keep you in the loop in the dark for a couple of weeks, so we decided let's go ahead and get this video log up. We should be able to start slowly adding content and re-adding content by tomorrow, which would be Monday. And uh, so without any ado, let's get to it. The brand new Indiana Jones film will now be titled Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. We'll again star Harrison Ford and his sidekick Shia LaBeouf, Karen Allen, as they attempt to uh, retrieve the, or more likely keep, the Ark of the Covenant away from the Soviets in a 1950s era film. Look for this next summer. Alien vs. Predator Requiem is indeed certified rated R according to the latest news and will make a debut this Christmas from Fox. Trailer looks fantastic. Uh, the Rock seems to be abandoning his action movie roots and is now uh, set to do yet another children's film. And this one is a remake of Disney's Escape from Witch Mountain. We'll have more details soon. And here's a twisted one for you folks. Uwe Boll is uh, doing some publicity tomorrow in support of his film Postal, and he'll be doing a live chat on X-Fire. So if you have the gaming software and you want to get on board and chat with the controversial director, uh, information is available and you can check that out. So getting to the uh, entertainment side of things, wanted to talk about some new releases that we have from Sony for the PS3. The first is Heavenly Sword which is a teen-rated action-adventure film. If you guys like a lot of action, you like some good firepower, and you really like to tear into massive amounts of armies, this is your game. Another good one for you is Lair, the brand new uh, game for the Sony PlayStation 3, as I mentioned, has you in the um, basically unusual characteristic of being a dragon rider as you tear into armies, battle, breathing fire, strafing them. The controls are a little tough, but that is a solid, solid game, and I do recommend checking that out. We also have another big title right now, and that is Monster Hunter 2 for the PSP from Capcom. That is going to be available, uh, actually it's available right now, and here's a look at it. Very solid game, a lot of questing, a lot of action, a lot of good details. If you're a PSP owner, check that out. You are definitely going to want to be involved with that one. So, moving on to the DVDs. We have a ton of DVDs to cover this week, so we're going to move lightning fast on that. So I do apologize if you have any questions about them. Do give me an email at gareth at sknr.net, and we'll be happy to get that to you. One of the more interesting but yet uh, underperforming films of the recent year was the Nicolas Cage, Julianne Moore, Jessica Biel film Next, which likes to combine a little bit of 24 with some supernatural powers. Nick Cage is an individual who has the power to see into the future. He's recruited to stop a terrorist activity before it happens. And of course there's the subplot and the romance with um, the various side plots and characters and that. Uh, starts off well, very disappointing finish, but DVD is loaded with features from Paramount. Does tie it together well, three stars out of five on that. One of the uh, little disappointments of last season that, in that it was uneven was one of my favorite shows is Drawn Together. We've got the Season 2 copy from Paramount Home Video, which takes a good-looking spoof at the reality TV genre and also uh, looks at the uh, wild and crazy annex of some outrageous cartoon characters. That is available right now, and it is going to definitely be a, uh, a want, something you're going to want to own, that's for sure. Uh, another interesting film, William Peterson, who's gone on to great success in CSI, uh, did the original version of Red Dragon. This is called Manhunter, Before Silence of the Lambs. This was the version of Tom Harris's book uh, Red Dragon, which was the basis for uh, that eventually led to Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal, Hannibal Rising, that sort of thing. You may want to check that out. Uh, let's see, one of my all-time favorites, since we're getting Halloween right now, The Burning. This is one of those classic horror films that you may not have heard about, but you'll actually will probably enjoy seeing it. It is from MGM and 20th Century Fox. It tells the tale of a bunch of camp counselors who decide to play a trick on the handyman. The trick goes horribly wrong. He's burned a lot and spends many years in a, re in a um, recovery. Well, he survives his ordeal and equipped with his trusty garden shears returns to the camp on a bloody 
Mission of Revenge. I know it sounds pat, but God, there's some really interesting moments in that. So do check that out. Another classic one that we've got right now, and I'm very heavy on the horror films right now, is the Showtime Paramount presentation, Reeker. And this one talks about the five students on a lonely highway when all hell breaks loose, and I do recommend that one. It's going to be a sleeper hit. I think you'll really enjoy that. Uh, cutting off, I'm going to something a little different right now. We have the complete fourth season of the Barbara Eden classic, I Dream of Jeannie, also starring Larry Hagman. And this is... Um, Excuse me, as I mentioned, it was the complete fourth season from Sony Pictures. A uh, very classic one, groundbreaking show for its day, and there is talk again of once again reviving the show as they did with the Brady Bunch and making a modern film version of that, so you want to check that out. Science fiction fans are going to love this one. Stargate Atlantis Season 3, the popular show filmed up in Vancouver, British Columbia. Actually, just outside Vancouver, it's in Bridge Studios, but... Uh, this is the season three, once again, containing the heroes of Earth as they battle the wraiths at the mythical city of Atlantis in a galaxy far, far away, with apologies to the Star Wars boys. From 20th Century Fox and MGM, do check that out. Now, if you like something a little more offbeat, we've got one coming up for you, but right now I want to mention the classic David E. Kelly, season three of Boston Legal, William Shatner, and Candace Bergman. We've got a lot of good stuff right here, and I do think you're going to really like this. Uh, definitely all 24 episodes of Season 3, seven discs, seven discs set from 20th Century Fox. Do check that out. Also, if you like your action dramas, I do recommend FBI thriller Criminal Minds. We have the second season here from Paramount CBS, and that is available right now. Another good, good, solid thing that you're going to want to have a look at if you like a good laugh is the Upright Citizens Brigade. We have the first and second season of the Comedy Central Darlings from Paramount Home Video, complete with tons of bonus scenes and deleted scenes as well as bonus features. Another classic, and this is a really good one, John Hurt and Hugh Dancy, Beyond the Gates. This is a classic award-winning film. And it is very popular. John Hurt is uh, said to be magnetic from Entertainment Weekly. The film is released by 20th Century Fox. And it's a compelling thriller that will definitely, if you're a fan of dramas, I highly recommend this film. Something in the more offbeat is Dimitri Martin, person from Paramount. And this is a stand-up comedy performance of Dimitri Martin. If you haven't heard of him, do check it out. He's a comedian on the rise. For film historians, I think you're going to love this one. This is a classic eight-pack with Gas, The Trip, The Wild Angels, The Young Racers, Bloody Mama, Bucket of Blood, X, The Man with the X-Ray Eyes, and The Premature Burial, Roger Corman, The King of the Z-Grade Movies, The Camp Classics. This guy is absolutely amazing with some of his stuff. Many of his films have been remade into other titles. His classic film, Death Race 2000, which uh, was a good launching vehicle. Sylvester Stallone is being remade right now. Do check it out. This is a classic set, and they've got all the films right there. You're going to love that. Kevin Costner fans may get a kick out of this. Season 1, Volume 2 of The Untouchables, the TV show that was uh, which the original film was based on. Robert Stack stars as Elliot Ness, and this is from Paramount Home Video. Black and white, classic film series, all the action that you've come to expect. Getting back to horror, a Stephen King classic, Sometimes They Come Back, based on his short story from MGM, 20th Century Fox, DVD, coming very soon, loaded with bonus features. Now, one of the uh, more compelling shows of the season, um, already in its third season, it's amazing how time flies, Rob Morrow with Numbers, the complete third season is available from Paramount and CBS DVD, including cast and crew commentaries. Season 3, um, Central Blooper Reels, and uh, Set Tours. Check that out. If you also like Friday Night Entertainment, and who doesn't, Ghost Whisperer, the second season of the Jennifer Love Hewitt film series, and TV series, I should say, arrives on this six-disc DVD collection, loaded with bonus material. You are going to want to check that out. That is available right now. For people like something a little offbeat, Eric Bana and Drew Barrymore with Robert Duvall and Lucky You. This is a story of a Las Vegas gambler. Film did not do as well because they were.